this long when I had carrots and radishes and... Like a lot of us, Don Eddy likes to grow backyard tomatoes in the summertime. This year's crop didn't turn out so great, but he says gardening keeps him out of trouble with the misses. That's important because they share close quarters in their home on wheels. I built platters and After retirement, Don and Dee sold their house, bought one of those rock star tour buses, and never looked back. His folks traveled and my folks, they both went into RVs and traveled. It, and it just sounded exciting. Their so-called tour bus looks as nice as most homes inside and has as much living space as a small apartment. We spent almost two years just visiting her relatives and mine, which are scattered from New York State, Vermont, Vermont Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Indiana. Missouri, wow. South Dakota, Indiana. Indiana. About five years ago, they stumbled upon the Bird Creek community, a combination park for manufactured homes and RVs, tucked away in a quiet nook across the freeway from downtown Temple, where they have plenty of company. What was the thing that surprised you most about living in one of these? We had to start buying differently. You mm -hmm. just shop more often. Let the store store it. <laughs> <laughs> so how many of us call our home on wheels our home for real? The University of Michigan did a study and here's what they found. They found that half a million RV owners consider their recreational vehicle their permanent residence. The Industry Trade Association, they believe the number is easily twice that. So you can bet RVs will get good representation in a study underway right now of the Waco housing market. A market where overbids and competition have driven prices to the point where the average Wacoan hardly stands a chance. I think the council is trying to juggle to our very best of how to handle the situation. Uh, and we have a housing study coming out this fall. City leaders say hard facts and figures will help guide the council on how to move ahead. And the goal is to uh, bring people back to the core of the city uh, where we have quality housing and people are not feel like they have to go to the suburbs to find that quality home, but that they can find that here in the core of our city. In fact, coming soon to the property where Floyd Casey Stadium once sat, a new planned community. It has a table topper on Meantime, it. Meantime, the Eddies seem content to stay in Temple, where they put down some roots a few years ago. He was least prepared for having his, being able to do all of his hobbies. So Don traded his wood shop for an outdoor garden, almost as portable as their home sweet home on wheels. Dennis Turner, 25 News.